And looking at a service call, hopefully. So we've got a lot of water on the ground. We're going to see if it's the uh, tank that's leaking. My guess is it's the plastic drain valve. So we're going to want to get that changed out. So there is uh, no shutoff for the cold. Actually, I think this is some type of shutoff right here. But I don't want to screw with that thing. Could be a check valve. But I gotta get the water shut off to it. Okay, so I wanted to turn the uh, the pump off. But there's no off. It's just low, medium, and high. And it's hardwired. So... I'll be turning all the pumps off if I go mess with the breaker box. So we're gonna try and do this quickly. I'm not responsible for the pump, man. So we're hoping that it's not the uh, main tank leak, that it's a uh, that it's a, uh, a leaking. Leaking drain valve. That's, that's what we're hoping there. Okay, so water is turned back on, pump is back on to medium, and Let's see if this works.
so we got a lot of water out i don't really see any new water showing up yet but we'll wait a little while and get this thing emptied in the meantime a tub and a half here with a lot of water i don't usually see that much Blow some air in there. Sometimes these uh, combustion chambers, they get so much water in there that um, you got to take them all apart to relight them. And I'm really hoping that's not the case. I'm going to dig into this sucker if I don't absolutely have to. It smells like dog in here. Smells like wet dog. Okay, we got pilot light, so that's good. We got blue light. That's really good. She's coming back up. I don't see any water showing back up again. I mean, there's a little residual water down there, but nothing crazy. I mean, it could still be an inner tank leak, but this will at least get it going overnight. So yeah, that's kind of my standard procedure with these reams. I was just watching a video from, uh, it's Pershing, Pershing Plumbing, where he went out and replaced a ream that was leaking. I was trying to tell him, you know, it's usually the drain valve. It's not always the drain valve, but um, they're notorious for leaking. And... Uh, Trying to see if any more water is going to show up here. And you just get the water out of it. What I do is I push the, uh, the insulation up on the sides. Just kind of push it up so you can get some oxygen in there. I do that on both sides. Because basically that's just a big sponge and it just soaks up all the water and then just chokes it out. And um, get that out of there. Just remove any wet insulation. And then change the drain valve out from plastic to copper. And hopefully that's it. You know, there's no more water that shows back up. Restart it. I kind of pump some air in there too. Just reverse the flow from the uh, vacuum to just kind of blow a bunch of air in there. Helps kind of push some of the water out of the 
spots. It just kind of gets oxygen up in there. But yeah, she lit up and she's going. Making hot water. I've done, I don't know, probably 20 of these like this before. But anyway, that's it. Another flooded water heater, another flooded ream. This is a 2020. So that's why I didn't really suspect um, inner tank leak quite yet. But not seeing any new water show up at all. And um, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers. And give the video a thumbs up. Hopefully it helps you out. So you got a flooded water heater and you have a plastic drain valve. Uh, try replacing that first. Clean all the water out. Restart it. See if the water shows back up. Appreciate you watching this video. Have a great day.